Ladies and gentlemen, salam, namaste, khushamadeed. Welcome to another edition of your favorite show on your favorite channel, the Monty Khan Show on your favorite network, ITV Gold. We all love cinema. We all enjoy. We all adore great performances, great movies, great magic. But little do we know that it takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of teamwork to bring that magic on cinema. And you need the support of your technical team, you need the support of your music directors, your editors, and most importantly, the unsung heroes of cinema, which are the cinematographers. Ladies and gentlemen, you must be wondering why am I talking about cinematography? Because I'm very honored to be in the presence of one of the finest cinematographers India has ever witnessed. And let's put our hands together for Asim Bajaj. Asim, sir, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for you know, sharing your valuable space with us and, you know, for this wonderful conversation that we'll be having. First of all, welcome to ITV. Welcome to North America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So one, one, one thing, maybe it could be a complaint. Maybe it could be, uh, you know, my, my, my heart feelings. Why is cinematography, you know, you guys are the heroes of, you know, filmmaking, but don't you feel like the credit is still undue. When was the last time you heard somebody going to a cinema and saying that I'm watching this movie because of its cinematography? I guess, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, a lot of people have that perception uh, that we are the unsung heroes of our field. But no, not really. I don't, I don't really agree with that. Uh, the fraternity Guz accepts it. You see, the Gulzar sahab ne kodi kamal ki line likhi thi ki ye shaam hami ne chuni hai. Achha. तो अगर हमें इतनी पब्लिसिटी चाहिए थी या इतना नोन होना था या हम चाहते थे कि हमारा चेहरा हर आदमी पहचाने तो हमें एक्टिंग एक्टिंग का फील्ड चुनना चाहिए था करेक्ट करेक्ट और आई डोंट थिंक कि हमें क्रेडिट नहीं दिया जाता है हमें अच्छा खासा क्रेडिट दिया जाता है और रही बात कि रेस्टोरेंट में जाने की और वहां कोई फुसफुसाहट होने की कि अरे देखो जरा अमिताभ बच्चन अमिताभ बच्चन वो नहीं हो सकता आपके सामने वो चेहरा नहीं है आप बिल्कुल आपका अपना एक अलग स्पेस है that is true. That is very true. And so, you know, I would like, I would, and with your, with your permission, I would love to share your little journey with our audiences who are watching there. Yeah. There are some people who must be, uh, you know, watching you uh, probably for the first time. Some people know of you. So guys, if, if I would love to go through, uh, you know, a few beautiful films that you've done in your career, starting naming my favorites, Chameli, if you've seen Chameli, one of the best films, Shabd, Golmal, Fun Unlimited, uh, Sunday, You, Me, or Hum. Uh, and, and, and the list is, it, it, this is a beautiful list. Teen Patti, Atiti, Tum Kab Jaoge, Double Dhamal, uh, Son of Sardar, Calling Mr. Jobi Karwalo, Shivai, uh, Sacred Great Games, Bhuj, The Pride of India, House of Secrets, The Burari Deaths, Koldo, Runway, the, the recent blockbuster, I loved yeah, it, loved, yeah, loved the movie, yeah. uh, Runway 34, Thank God, one of the recent releases, and last but not the least, I mean, in terms of sequencing, Bhola. Bhola. So, such wonderful gems you've given as, as a cinematographer. I don't know, I don't know where to start from, but I would love to go back to the roots and start from where does this journey begin, sir? Where? Tell, take us, take us through time. I don't know. It's difficult to tell, really. I was uh, this little kid in a very small village called uh, Nirmali in Bihar. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a region called Mithila. So I'm a Mathil, basically. I'm Mathili. And there we were in or uh, do you prefer English or Hindi? What? Any language. North America is yeah, so yeah, let's, yeah. let's continue English. English. Is, is, is great so, uh, because we have a lot of different people yeah. from different ethnicities who love Bollywood. Yeah. You know, so so. Uh, that's when I grew up. And right. uh, as I started growing up, I saw other kids had a, somebody called father in their houses. I didn't. So I didn't know where my father was gone. So I, I used to question my mom. I didn't get answers very clearly in in initial years. And later I got to know that mom, my mom and dad had separated. 
Okay. And uh, dad was in Delhi. Got to know about it later. So I, I saw my father for the first time when I was seven years old. When you were seven. When I was seven. And I used to read about him in the magazines or newspapers. I was, used to occasionally see him on television sometimes. His name is uh, Professor Ram Gupal Bajaj. Okay. Uh, he retired as the uh, director of uh, National School of Drama. So as the director of National as School. As the director of NST. That's great. And uh, considered to be, I mean, one of the four pillars of modern Indian theatre. Padma Shri Professor Ram Gupal Bajaj. But I didn't know the man. I just knew he is my father, but I didn't know him. Correct. Correct. So and I you met him when you were seven. For, for the, the first time. You went to Delhi? To no, him? no. He was visiting village for some reason. Somebody had died in the family and he was very close to that person who was his bhabi, my tai. So he was visiting then. So I saw him for four or five hours and that's it. And that was, he was gone. And that was that. So then I got to visit him in Delhi in 1988 through, uh, there was another playwright called Rameshwar Prem, has been a very beautiful playwright and uh, he is no more, we lost him about six months back. So Rameshwar uncle used to come to Delhi, uh, from Delhi every year in his whatever, summer vacation or something. He used to come to Nirmali every year. And he was a playwright and he was also, I mean, my father was also his local guardian in Delhi when he had gone to study in Delhi. Okay. So he was meeting my father at least once a week. I used to be very jealous of him. Because he got to meet your father more than you did. Yeah, I only heard about my father. Ah. So I used to tell him every year that you got to take me to meet my father. And he would always avoid and, you know, he would always be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One day. I see. This time I just didn't listen and I said, you have to take me this time. I was 12. He took me with him. Was That was unpleasant for my father because suddenly, I mean, I can understand from his perspective now that I think back in retrospect. It must have been a surprise that I have left this life behind 15 years back or 12 years back, where is this coming from? Yeah, so he had moved on in his life. He had moved on. Right? And and suddenly I think he, was very, he was a very strong man to move on without having emotions towards yeah. his son. You know, that's... Uh, that's and, and, and suddenly, you have this 12-year-old kid, kid standing in front of you that, Hi, Dad. Sorry for my language, but what the hell? What right? the hell, right? Yeah, where the hell were you when I needed you the most? So... Uh, I mean, it's, 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 but it was beautiful reconnecting with that. And uh, he accepted me at once, not that he didn't. Right, right. And uh, we have, uh, I have another brother called Riju and uh, another brother called Prakash. Riju Bhaiya is the middle one. He used to live with dad. I see. So I see. he told me that, why are you stuck in that village? At least come to Patna, do something. Now that got stuck to my head. I see. Coming so from when I went to went back to my village, to Mithila, I was like, I have to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. And I ran away. And you ran away. Yeah. What about mom? Because nobody was letting me go. Mom was not letting me go, right? No, because nobody was letting me go. You were the only son with mom. No, that. I have another brother. I told you, Prakash. So he used to live with dad. And he used to live with, uh, with, with mother. With mother. He is ten years old too. Okay. So when you ran, where did you go? Did I ran away to Nepal. Nepal? Yeah. Well, that was the closest place to go to. Closest. Okay. So I ran away to Nepal. From there, I was caught by my brother. Brought back to the village. What a they beat me up black and blue. <laughs> the same night, I ran away again. Again? I ran away to Imphal. Then came back to Patna. I started working in Patna. I started doing theater in Patna. Somehow I knew that was my calling. And uh, but calling up there, right? You got that calling up just because your father said no, I'm that. Coming, I'm coming to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm coming yeah, yeah, to that. Yeah. See, the thing is, initially, when you, people used to ask me, I always said I knew I had to be in films when I was nine. Beautiful, but no, that's not the truth. 
Now, in retrospect, when I, I tried dissecting it and I tried to analyze why films, why, why I knew I had to be in films, right. I realized I wanted to get to my father. Uh. I wanted my father. So if my father was in aviation, I would have, been, have been a pilot. Correct. I would yes. have been a pilot. Correct. Correct. So it wasn't cinema. It wasn't art, craft, culture. No, it wasn't none of that. Or maybe it was the genes, the DNA effect. Yeah. Because your dad. So that's what I'm saying. Since NSD, he was there. NSD, yeah. So I decided I have to be here. And this was the easiest route to meet my father is what my little brain would have thought. My quest was... To meet him and to be with him. Because, because I love him unconditionally. I unconditionally love him. No conditions. Without even being... I mean, I'm sorry to use the abandoned word. Without even... You no, know, it, it, that's the truth. Abandoned. The, 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 there was no anger or there was no... No. Nah. Oh. No. That, then that, that, is, that love is God sent. So, so, I, you know... I, I, to be honest and, with you, because and then he's a good man, I have to say. Okay. In so many years, what I've gotten to know about him, I know him more as my friend then than as my father. Than as your father. So he's a good man. I see. I see. I mean, that's what I always tell man. my my friends. You know, like water and fire are great. They're great elements. Their combination is bad. So maybe yeah. that must have what, what might have happened yeah. between mom and dad. And you know, you don't know what transpired. What I transpired. Mean, everybody has their Correct. own. Reason journey and journey. circumstances. Circumstances. So I don't really know what happened between them. But I, she is a beautiful woman. You just met her. I she did. Is, yes. Yes. She's four feet nothing. Yes. Probably four and a half, something like that. And uh, and so is he. He's he, he's a beautiful man. Is he still in? Uh, he doesn't live in Delhi anymore. He lives in Lunavla with my middle brother, middle brother. Yes. Great. Uh, so they live together. So you got the calling. The calling of being in films. What happened? Yeah, so I started doing music. Oh, this so, is getting interesting. So Every... I would play rhythm. Okay. Um, Guitar? No, rhythm. Rhythm. Oh. Uh, tabla. tabla. Uh, not tabla. Dholak, basically. Dholak, okay. I used to play Dholak. And I started doing that in Patna with this guy uh, called Sanjay Upadhyay. He used to do a theater form, which is a folk form of Bihar called Bidesia. So I would sing and I would uh, play the rhythm. And they were like loud Nagara type rhythm. You know? And what age was that? 14? 14. 14. Achha. Ka bacha, dholak hmm. I'm visualizing it. And uh, I had beautiful set of people around. I mean, and uh, in the same theater group, we had this boy called Intakhab. And... Uh, very good looking man. That's your friend you were just mentioning. Yeah. About. Very, so very good looking go boy. That, that, that far. Back, yeah. That back. Wow. So very good looking boy and he used to uh, play guitar very beautifully. And he was a tremendous photographer. I what see. an amazing photographer. What beautiful framing sense. So I, I guess I picked up a lot of my framing sense from him and whatever else from comic books because I used to find them very interesting to Chacha Chaudhary and Sabu Tinkle, and Tinkle and, back in the days. <laughs> you know, Champak and Parag Champak, and all yeah, these yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Billu, maybe Pinky. Archies maybe if you got a chance to read those Archie I mean, we novels. were boys from Bihar yeah, yeah, we were I mean your cameraman knows we were Archies you ever heard of Archies? Archies we didn't hear of Chacha Chaudhary Chacha Chaudhary Archies and Archies it's a story of Shero I saw an apple in the same time हमारे गांव में अवरुद्ध होता था अवरुद्ध होता था एप्पल तो सुनते थे कि अच्छा हां सेब नाम की चीज होती है अच्छा तो टाइम पे फोटोग्राफी किससे करते थे क्या व्हाट काइंड ऑफ कैमरा कैमरा एमएफ वाज याशिका एमएफ2 याशिका करेक्ट याशिका एमएफ2 वाज द फर्स्ट कैमरा फ्लैट होता था और एक येलो कलर की लाइट होती थी और यहां पे पुश बटन होता था यस बड़ा फैंसी सा कैमरा था याशिका एमएफ2 दैट वाज द फर्स्ट कैमरा आई हैड टू लिटरली लुक इनटू इट हैज इट हैड अ पैरालेक्स व्यू इट वाजंट अ एसएलआर Okay. There was no single lens reflex. Okay. It was a pallet view. And guys, uh, uh, just a, a quick uh, note. This is going to be my cinematography session. I'm going to learn a lot <laughs> from the master, the craftsman, the 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 
you know, the genius. So if I ask you some stupid no, please, questions, no please, question is please don't ever. judge me because I love cinematography. No, no question is stupid. I, you know, I think it, cinematography is all about intuition. It's all about, you know, visualizing. I mean, all creativity comes out of stupidity. So oh, but you know, I consider myself the biggest stupid. So my, my, my question to you, I know Intikab was probably the very really instrumental. Very instrumental. Yeah. Right? He's the one who told me, uh, I'll imitate him. Yeah, Pagala, you know, you know, film is photography, right? They call it cinematography. Cinematography. I still remember Love we were it. sitting in Gandhi Maidan. Love it. We had come from a theater rehearsal. And he says, who's cinematography? And that word got stuck in my head. It wasn't cinematography. It Cinema- was cinematography. Mato. Tomato wala cinemato. Exactly. Right, right. That's right. how we pronounce it. That's correct. And then from there, something happened in my life and I moved to Delhi. But you wanted to be to an do actor. theater. You, yes, you wanted to be an actor. No. No. I didn't want, I didn't know. Achha. I had no clue. I it was all my journey towards reaching my father. I was negotiating my way to reach my father. Why didn't I go to films straight away? Yeah. Because dad was, I saw father in films sometimes, in bit roles. So I thought, okay, I should do films. Then I got to know he is this theater wizard and whatever not. I said, oh, shit, that's the that's wrong step. So let me get into theater. Theater. So I started getting into theater in a very big way. I see. And very, very serious. But on stage, I was shit. You realize it so? Uh, yeah. That like, realization I, is important. I didn't know where to so. keep my hand as an actor. I mean, if, if you make me stand on stage, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I still don't know what to do. So. But I did read somewhere that you were in Bandit Queen. I was in Bandit Queen because I'm. As an actor. actor. Ha, because I'm theater kar rahe the wahan pe, and Tishu Bhai, I mean, as you know him, Tegman Shudhulia. So Tishu Bhai was casting director. Achha. I said, Tishu bhai, I want to see how the film is made and I want to see how the film is made. I said, I want to take a role. I said, I want to take a role. Shekhar Kapoor. Uh, Bobby Bedi was the producer. Bobby Bedi, yes. But nobody will allow. You're crazy. 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 I said, you're crazy. 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 At that time, no, you hadn't started cinematography at all. No, no I was doing theater. Uh, I was doing uh, music. Music. Kar rahe tha. NK Sharma was doing theater. And every night, I was sitting with Pish Bhai. He was singing with Pish Mishra. So, he was singing with Pish Mishra and he was singing with Pish Mishra. I was singing with Pish Mishra and I was singing with Pish Mishra. So, I was singing with Pish Mishra. What are you doing? This is a very amazing story. Then, after that, the Dadi... So, the Dadi, I will tell you about this work. So next day he told me, Sume Lode, I said, Ha, Charger Pimling. 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 I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to Shooting कहाँ पे? बोला ग्वालियर की तरफ है। ग्वालियर। चंबल में है। मैंने कहा चार हजार रुपये मतलब रहूँगा कैसे? फिर वो रहना भी पड़ेगा और खाना भी खाऊँगा चार हजार रुपये में हो जाएगा? मैं तो पागल ही है। तो हमारे साथ होटल में रहेगा? मैंने कहा एक मिनट होटल में? होटल में आप रखोगे? हाँ। अच्छा और खाना? मिल खाना तीनों वक्त खाना शूटिंग में मिलेगा तुझे मुझे लगा बेटे ये पागल हो गए हैं इनको पता ही नहीं है कुछ 
चार हजार रुपए भी दे रहे हैं शूटिंग देखने को मिलेगी खाना भी रखे रखे होटल भी रख रहे हैं मैं कहा साइन करना कुछ साइन वाइन करना बता दो तो दैट्स हाउ इट स्टार्टेड मुझे क्या पता था इतना भागना पड़ेगा मैं मोटा शुरू से हूं लाकू बना दिया हाथ में बंदूक दे दी बोले यहाँ से वहां भागो वहां से वहां भागो यहाँ से कड़क धूप भागो धूप में तो उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ता आपको आप सोलह साल के हैं आपको नहीं फर्क पड़ता yeah, yeah, yeah. कहा धूप और कहा मतलब फौलाद की दीवार आप उसके थ्रू निकल जाए बट वो उसको आप एक टर्निंग पॉइंट मानोगे ना अपनी लाइफ वॉज दर्निंग पॉइंट ऑफ योर लाइफ यू नो वे यू वे आई वॉन्ट टू नो दैट दैट स्टेज ऑफ योर लाइफ वे यू गॉट द रियलाइजेशन नहीं यार वो जो सिनेमाटो ग्राफर सिनेमाटोग्राफी आई मीन दैट हैपन आई आई एम कमिंग टू दैट दैट्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप बिकॉज़ एंड आई स्टार्ट सीइंग दिस गाय कॉल्ड अशोक मेहता हु वाज शूटिंग द फिल्म करेक्ट करेक्ट ही वाज अ डीओपी ही वाज द डीओपी द कैमरा वाज दिस बिग नो इससे भी बड़ा बिगर बिगर इससे भी बड़ा नहीं सर बिगर इट वाज लाइक अ कैनन दैट बिग वाओ दिस इज अ 1000 फीट मैगजीन Okay. Then there's the camera, and then there's a 500 mm zoom. Wow, pray. So the camera looked like a cannon. Like a cannon. It wouldn't fit onto this this sofa. It wouldn't fit. Onto it wouldn't. How technology has changed. Too. And there was this little man, Chachu. I mean, we used to call him Chachu, Ashok Ji. Chachu was five feet four inches. Yeah. He was not a very tall man. He was short man with hat and with boots. Hat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. him handling that camera and everybody on the set was only waiting for him to get ready that's obvious camera man has to get ready for the shot yeah i in my little mind thought ki yaar ye sabse powerful aadmi to yahi hai yahi boss hai shekhar kapoor ya jo bhi hain set pe everybody is waiting for shoot me camera man get ready nahi hua to kaise tu ready nahi hoga shot kaise hoga correct to mujhe laga yaar yahi banna hai bas ab theek ho gaya अब मुझे नहीं पता अशोक मेहता ने पहले क्या फिल्में की हैं आगे क्या फिल्में करने वाले हैं मुझे कुछ नहीं पता घंटा आइडिया ही नहीं है क्या करेक्ट गुरु बनना तो यही है तो मैं तिजू भाई को बोला उन्होंने बोला पागल मैं बात नहीं करता उनसे मैं कर ही नहीं सकता मारेंगे मेरे को मेरी हिम्मत नहीं बात करने की अवॉइड मी क्या क्या बात कर रहा है यार तिजू भाई कैसे बात करूँ फिर तो खुद से बात कर ले मैं थोड़ा मूलगा भी था इन सबों का चूंकि ये सारे के सारे पापा के स्टूडेंट्स थे करेक्ट यशु भी पापा का स्टूडेंट है तो मैं थोड़ा मूलगा तो था सबके मैं चला गया अशोक मेहता के पास मैं सर मुझे काम करना है आपके साथ क्या अब ऐसे बड़े लोग आते होंगे आउटडोर में आते ही रहते हैं वो तू तो एक्टर है मैं कह नहीं मैं सर मैं गलती से फंस गया हूँ मैं एक्टर हूँ नहीं है सर अच्छा हंसने लगे कहा से आया थे होंगे दिल्ली का ही और एक कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी आप में ना एक कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी नहीं एक इंफीरियोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स होता है सब में होता है नहीं स्पेशली जब आप बिहार से आते हैं तो यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू टेल पीपल कि मैं बिहार से हूं मैं छुपा रहा था कि मैं बिहार से हूं मैं छुपा ये बता रहा था कि मैं दिल्ली से दिल्ली से हूँ दिल्ली की जबान बोल रहा था मैं जी जी कि नहीं जी हूं तो दिल्ली से जी मैंने ये नहीं कहा कि बिहार से करेक्ट नहीं बिहार से बोलूंगा एक्सेप्ट नहीं करेंगे लोग है ना एक है वो हमारे में तो मैंने कहा जी मैं दिल्ली से ही हूं अच्छा क्या करेगा तू कैमरे का कुछ काम किया है मैं कह रही मैं ढोलक बजा दूंगा <laughs> <laughs> 